Hey, Steve, of all the good things to like from this game, what do you think helps set the tone overall? Just our defense. You know, we finally got back to uh, defending the way we have, or the way this team has for many years, um, even before I got here. You know, they were one of the top five defensive teams in the league. Um, so you have to be able to count on that foundation. And I thought our defense was, was great, and that set the tone. Regarding Clay, obviously he's always been a good shooter, but what's kind of the art and science being able to be so prolific when you don't have the ball that much in your hands? Well, Clay is big and strong and, and uh, he never gets tired, and uh, he works off the ball as well as anybody in the league. And um, guy's a tr tremendous shooter. I mean, it's a good combination when you have that kind of stroke and that size and, and strength as well. Steve, what went into the decision to, to start Iguodala over Quinn Cook, and how do you think that impacted the, the start for you guys? Just wanted to put our best defensive lineup on the floor um, from the beginning. I think uh, the whole point um, of, of these games here early in this series is to reestablish our defense. I think you guys know over the last uh, month or so, our defense has been uh, subpar. So can't win in this league in the playoffs unless you defend, and they defended tonight, and we went with our uh, our best defensive group. Uh, Steve, what, what did you think of what JaVale was able to give you, and do you see yourself keeping him in that starting lineup going forward? Um, probably. <laughs> <laughs> he was great. JaVale was great. Um, he's got, uh, you know, obviously a lot of length and, um, you know, shot-blocking ability and mobility. I like his speed. Um, so he was great. So we'll, yeah, there's no reason to take him out. Coach, doubling back on what, um, what you said about Andre, you know, he's given you great performances over the years. What keeps you having the confidence and putting him in these situations in the, in the playoffs? You mean other than the fact that he was a finals MVP a couple of years ago? <laughs> yes. There's that. Yeah. Uh, there's the Olympics. There's uh, multiple rings, uh, all-star. He's a great player. Steve, you also cut down the rotation just a little bit. Basically, the nine kind of had Nick Young out of yeah. it. Uh, are you in – what was the thinking there? Was, it, was that partly the defensive mentality also? What was the rotation cut down about? Uh, it's just, you know, playoffs, um, generally speaking, you cut down a little bit. Um, we, we had some combinations that we wanted to get to, and, and um, you know, that, that was game one, and – Things change in the playoffs. We all know that. And so I thought Nick did a good job uh, down the stretch uh, helping us close the game. We need those minutes. We're so thin on the on the wing uh, that we have to have guys eat up some minutes. And uh, I thought he did that for us. But there's going to be moments where he's going to play a more important role uh, at some point during the playoffs. We know that. But for now, this was, uh, this was the lineup that we decided to go with. Steve, there are times when uh, both Andre and also JaVale came off Looked like they were both shaken up at different times of the game and went over and talked to Chelsea and our Drew. Where do they stand now? Are they okay? I mean, what do you, what do you know about their status? I think Javel's fine. I think Andre got a, a Charlie horse. He got a knee in the quad, which is very painful. And uh, it was good that we didn't have to put him back in the game down the stretch. Um, and obviously he'll get treatment and uh, try to get better. You told us that uh, you had a team meeting after Curry went down with his first ankle injury of the season about honing in on defense and about uh, putting defense first. Was there a similar such discussion before the playoffs began? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's called uh, playoff preparation. We had two days to prepare, and uh, that's the message. you got to defend. And, you know, you give them a few – Tips, you know, things that we might want to do, but it ultimately it just comes down to players competing and um, bringing the effort. And uh, and they brought it tonight. It was a different level of play than what we've seen from the past month, which I expected. Um, but now we got to keep doing it. You know, that's the, that's the thing. This is one game. I remember uh, last year Houston beat the Spurs by 30 in San Antonio in game one. The Spurs went, went and beat them four out of the next five. So it's one game. That's all. Coach, the ball was going through Kevin Durant for, for, for much much of the game. How much of that is a total um, going away from, you know, the system that you use with, with Curry in there? Uh, well, we're, we are a little different when uh, Steph's out, obviously. Um, Kevin has the ball in his hands a lot more. It's not uh, rocket science. He's, you know, he's Kevin Durant. So we're going to give him the ball a lot.
Steve, um, you just pointed out that game one wins don't mean everything, but did you feel a certain sense of urgency given how the team been playing to make a statement in this game and make it early on? And do you think the team felt that too? I thought it was important to reestablish our defense, you know, one way or the other, uh, win or lose. Like we had to bring the effort uh, at the defensive end because that's the only way you can have success in the playoffs. And that's the reason this is a championship team. You know, they, those guys get all the credit for shooting their shots and scoring points. That's the glory. That's where the glory ends up. But it's the defense um, that has been the key for this team for years. So it was important to reestablish that. I thought we did that. Uh, but again, we've got to do it again and again and again. Could you tell right away, though, I think you guys forced a shot clock violation, maybe third yeah. possession of the game. I mean, could you just tell within the first few minutes what it was going to be like? Yeah. Yeah, um, you could feel the intensity uh, right from the start, and um, you know, the, obviously, um, you know, the length of our guys out there with Andre and um, and Clay in the backcourt, and you know, every when everybody is active with that kind of uh, ability um, and speed, it's it can be um, it can be effective as it was in, early in the game. It set a good tone. Steve, uh, getting back to JaVale, it, it seems in theory that Aldridge could be a really tough matchup for him. He's, mm -hmm. he's so crafty. He gets guys in the air pretty well. How do you explain how effective JaVale has been against him, not just tonight but some other games too? Well, I mean, uh, he's, he's incredibly tall and, and um, quick off his feet. And so um, go play a pickup game. You know, it's harder to play against guys who are really tall. It just is, you know. They challenge the shots better, and and um, Lamarcus is, I think, the best uh, low post scorer now that we have in the game, and you know he's a tremendous shooter, and we just want to be able to challenge those shots, knowing that he's gonna he's gonna make a lot of them. But I think Javel was able to challenge some of them and make it difficult. Okay. One, one last, got one more. One last yeah. one. Quint Quint Cook came out and. Uh, it was aggressive right away, hit that jumper pretty yeah. early on. Were you happy to see that aggression, and what did you make of his debut? Yeah, Qu Quinn was great. I thought he played a really good game. Uh, you know, we want him scoring. We need that. He's one of our best shooters, and without Steph, we're going to need those minutes from him.